Hi, I'm Beth Brockett with Brockett Homes at Rule & Rule Realtors. You know, more and more of my sellers are having smart home technologies throughout their homes. I felt like this was a trend I needed to pay attention to. In fact, it's been predicted that over the next five years, more than a million dollars will be spent by Americans on smart home technologies. So I wanted to learn more about that. Well, what really constitutes a smart home? There are several components when you're marketing your home in that way. The first is a Wi-Fi connection. Then there should be at least either a security system or a temperature control system. Then two additional smart home devices. Maybe it's lighting controls, smart outlets, smart TV. We'll learn more about these as we go through the video today. These devices are then controlled by a central hub. Think Alexa or Echo, or it could be your mobile phone or a tablet or your computer. Today we have the opportunity to be in a home of an early adapter. Um, our seller Scott is here and allowed us to be in his home and talk more about the different things that uh, he has in his home. And uh, we really appreciate you being You're letting welcome. us be in Welcome. your home today. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much. Well, maybe we can start with just finding out a little bit about what um, brought you to being interested in smart home technology, maybe some of the research you did. So, so to be honest, it was a, a conference I was at for work and an individual was talking about the internet of things and how everything's gonna be controlled through the internet and how, how you do it. That kind of, uh, you know, tweaked my inner geek. Um, and, uh, and I'm like, well, this looks kind of cool and interesting. And, and, uh, and so I, I started with the, the Echo Dot uh, just kind of started with a little piece there, and then over time we've added more and more pieces of technology. Um, and as something new comes out, or there's some something that seems like it would be helpful to the house, we just add that. Would you mind uh, showing us, tell us a little bit more about um, the different features so we can kind of see them in action? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you, you know, again, I think it starts with the thermostat, and we chose the Ecobee. The Nest is also very popular. What we like about the Ecobee are their little uh, units that you put in different rooms of your house, and then the, the system will actually adjust based upon where people are at to get the temperature to, oh. to your selected temperature. So instead of depending only on the thermostat temperature, wherever that thermostat is at, which for a lot of people, at least ours is in the kitchen, for a lot of people it's like in a hallway where yeah. no one lives. Yeah. They just walk by it. Uh, this actually figures out where people are at at any given moment and, and adjusts the temperature to react to that. If you have people that are in living space in the basement, it's really huge because yeah. you don't have to have it adjusting to that when no one's in the basement. But if you go downstairs to the rec room or something, then then it pops in and, and that becomes part of the equation of how much to run the furnace or the air conditioner. So really adds to your comfort. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, we've got the ring front door. Um, which is, is cool, you know, you can use it like a regular doorbell, it'll ring little units inside the house, but it also will allow us to have a conversation with somebody from a, a distance. We may be in the house, we may be someplace else, oh, okay. uh, you know, and, and generally it's the neighbor kids saying, no, the kids can't come out and play because we're not <laughs> home, but, uh, but that's a, a cool feature as well. Um, as you go to a new home, are there things that you think you'd like to add that you don't have now? Oh, sure. There are always things that I would <laughs> like to add. They're probably, you know, um, I, I think that's the toughest thing thing is that this is still kind of the wild wild west right um, and so I mentioned the smart things uh, system and and there are ways to start to bring everything together but one of the things I've been really kind of researching and we'll see if we can afford <laughs> is the uh, is some sort of main I'll call it mainframe technology or that one piece of equipment that can control a lot of stuff and have products in a lot of different areas that can work for us. Because right now there are a lot of people that are doing outlets, but they may not be doing thermostats or they may not be doing the garage door openers or the, right. the locks. Um, finding that one company that would allow us to install one brain and, and have a package of things that work together would be really cool. I'm just not sure if we're there yet. No. Yeah, well, cool. Any advice you'd give to people that are starting out thinking about adding some of these technologies? I think the really big thing is because there are so many different vendors doing certain niches within the marketplace, it's important to do the research on what sort of platform you want to have. Um, the the Z-Wave or Zigbee is kind of a, a well-established platform, and so if you can find things that work on that, um, and the Smart Things uh, is an example of that. Um, I, I believe uh, Lowe's has their own Iris system that works mm -hmm. on that as well, um, and uh, and Wink, which is kind of one of the more long-standing companies, and we've used some of their products in the past. They're on that platform, but there's a lot of things that are built for that, and then obviously figuring out what you're going to use. Are you going to use the Google Home or or the Alexa or yeah. or the Apple uh, Home system? 
just making sure that it connects with that. It's that connectivity between the different pieces you're going to want that's important to check out. Well, great. Thanks, Scott. We you appreciate uh, your time today. My pleasure. So I hope that you've learned a little bit more about um, smart home technology today. I know I have. Um, you know, it's great to know that we can use these technologies for maybe staying in our homes longer, uh, being a little more secure, saving on some energy, and just adding to our pleasure. So um, if you've installed some of these things in your home, I'd love to hear about it. I want to keep learning about this uh, trend. I'm sure there's going to be continual changes, and I want to be on top of it so I can better serve you.